This video will demonstrate how to report interpreter data in ISTAR. Beginning in school year 2023-24, each school district will report interpreter data in ISTAR. The deadline to enter this data is June 30, 2024. To report interpreter data, click the Interpreter Collection button on the landing page in ISTAR. Select the resident district to begin reporting data. If you are a standalone district reporting your own data, you will only see your district in the drop down. If you are a co op managing data for multiple districts in your jurisdiction, you will see all of your districts in the drop down. Next, select Add in the middle of the screen. Select the resident school that performed the IEP meetings, then select the requested language. The first section requires data regarding the request for interpreters during the school year. The first field asks for the number of requests for an interpreter, previously requested interpretation services, or times otherwise indicated that an interpreter was necessary to ensure meaningful parental involvement in the IEP meeting. Moving down, report the number of requests where a qualified interpreter was provided at the IEP meeting. Next, Enter the number of requests from the parent that the interpreter serve no other role in the IEP meeting. Then enter the number of requests granted by the district for the interpreter to serve no other role in the IEP meeting. The second portion of this data requirement is for translations of the conference recommendations form. First, enter the number of translations requested, previously requested translation services, or times otherwise indicated translation was necessary. Next, enter the number of translations that were provided. Moving down, enter the number of translations that were provided at the time of the IEP meeting. Then, enter the average school days taken to provide translations. To calculate the average, add up the number of days for each student between the IEP meeting and when the translated form was provided and divide by the total number of students that required a translation. The third portion of this data collection is for translations for the IEP forms. First, enter the number of translations requested previously requested translation services, or times otherwise indicated translation was necessary. Next, enter the number of times the translated form was provided. Moving down, enter the number of times that the translated form was provided within 30 days of the IEP meeting. All percentages will calculate automatically in ISTAR based on data entry. Lastly, enter the average number of school days between the IEP meeting and when the translated form was provided. To calculate the average, add up the number of days for each student between the IEP meeting and when the translated form was provided and divide that number by the total students that required a translation. Once all data has been addressed on the form, click Add. To edit the data at a later time, click the pencil icon. Once you have completed reporting interpreter data for the school year, click the checkbox that reads, I am done reporting, then click Save. Once the box has been checked, 
all remaining schools in the district or districts will autofill with zeros. If your district or districts do not have any requests for interpreters or translators, then simply check the box that reads, Interpreters and or translators were not requested in my district and click Confirm. Clicking Confirm will report zeros for all the schools in the district or districts selected. As mentioned previously, this data is due June 30th, 2024. For additional support, contact Harrisburg Project by phone at 1-800-635-5274 or email support at hbug.k12.il.us.